Yep, one of those will do. Job complete for under £10. Now it's just a matter of getting this over the back of the desk. And do you know why I put that at the back of the desk? Just so that I could do this. No, seriously, I'm going to explain it in a little bit more detail before I had to have my camera here on the desk. So if I wanted to show something to you, I would have to hold it up off the surface and crouch down so that you could see me. Now I can have my camera another 30 centimeters away from me and it just allows me to show you things a little bit better whilst I've got them on the desk. It was a very cheap solution. I was originally going to buy a table to go in the back there which would have cost me around about 80 to 100 pounds and I did all of that for under 10 pounds. Admittedly, I did already have those gray legs. They were from Ikea, and had I purchased them just for this project, they would have cost me about another eight to 12 pounds. Total cost, still round about the 20 pound mark. Much wiser, much better than paying nearly 100 pounds just for a table to hide at the back of my desk. Now I really wanna share with you this great new app that I've been using on my iPhone. It's also available for Android. And in fact, I'll leave a link to it in the video description. It's called Uball, and it's like a social networking app on steroids. It really is fantastic. You can post photos, pictures, illustrations, whatever you want, and you can actually add elements to the picture so that people can interact with it. So for example, this one, has got some voting elements in these bubbles here. It's also got a location element, which we can tap on to find the location out. And we can also just simply favorite it. So if I tap the star, it adds it to my profile and puts it at the top of my feed. Now, the other thing you can do is these interactive bubbles I mentioned. So this guy here has got a location bubble. He's saying, keep it alive, two hour freestyle challenge. And the question is, what else should he keep it up? A rugby ball? orange or some Ubal socks. So I can tap on Ubal socks and the vote goes on. And the person who posted this and indeed anyone else who's following can see these votes happen and update live in real time. So it's really cool. The sort of thing you could use this for, for example, is if you're trying to decide on two different places to eat with your friends, you could post a picture, have the two different options. They can vote and it would update in real time. Everyone can keep an eye on this particular post and whichever gets the most votes, they go to, to eat. Very cool indeed. Now I've got a very simple post here and here it says, which would you choose? And you can see here, I'd, al I'd already voted for Western Digital myself and it updates again, these votes in real time. So don't forget to follow me. I'm Geekanoids on Uball, and don't forget to use that link in the video description and you can actually try this particular app out for yourself. So I'm really pleased with what I achieved today. And the reason I wanted to share it with you was not just because I love creating video, but it was also to explore how far I would go outside of my comfort zone to save some money. If you've watched my videos for quite a long time, you'll know that I'm not the biggest fan of DIY. But if I'm gonna save 60 or 70 pounds just for putting a few legs on with screws on a piece of wood, then I'm all for it. It's not always about choosing the most expensive option. It's about choosing the most realistic option for the task that you're trying to achieve. So if I can do it, anyone can, because I'm pretty bad at DIY.
smile.